Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. come to Q derivatives. We have done U derivatives, alpha derivative, alpha dot derivative, now Q derivatives. Okay, again we start like F A X, F A Z and M A. Why we are taking these three things? Please understand, we are trying to build longitudinal perturbed equation of motion. And these things we are doing to find out the perturb forces when the aircraft is perturbed in the longitudinal mode, that is either this, this or pitching motion. That is why F A X, F A Z and M A are being considered. Okay. So, I can easily write F A X is equal to Q S C X. So, D F A X by D Q C by 2 u 1 will be equal to q 1 bar s d c x by d q c by 2 u 1. This 1 again because we have to evaluate this at steady state. Okay. So, this I can write as c x q into q 1 s goes without saying c x q means d c x by d q c by 2 u 1. And for small angle, you can assume that is minus c d q, because you know the axis system what we are using x is in this direction. However, drag will be in the opposite direction. So, they are minus sign. And then another relief for us generally, generally C D Q is very negligible, so we will take it as 0. Please understand, these assumptions are no way restricting you to use finite value and go for complete analysis. Okay. Now, we will handle F A Z and we again write F A Z as Q S C Z and D F A Z by d q c by 2 u 1 is equal to evaluated at steady state equal to d c z d q c by 2 u 1 into q 1 s. The catch point is how to evaluate d c z by d q c 2 u 1. Now, let us see what is actually happening. Suppose, this is the tail. Okay and this is the C G of the airplane and if it is going for a Q, pitch up like this. What will happen? This man will go down, tail will go down. As it goes down, the relative air speed it will see and roughly I can say delta alpha equal to Q L T by U 1. I am saying this is from A C, it is L T. I am assuming the net force is acting represented at the A C of the tail. And this delta alpha will give lift at tail, also it will give moment due to tail, tail about C g, because for us moment about C g is extremely important for analyzing its response. Right. With this understanding, we, we have a clear cut indication that this is one of the important derivatives. So, let us evaluate this. You can, you can see yourself, I can write d f a z by d q c by 2 u 1 is equal to minus d c l by d q c by 2 u 1 into q 1 s. How do I write this? Because I know 
It's fair enough assumption C z equal to minus C l when we are talking about small perturbation. Right. So, d c d c z by d q c by 2 e 1 is minus d c l by d q c by 2 e 1 or this is by notation is written as minus C l q the q 1 s. The question comes can you derive the expression for C l q answer is very obvious because we know the mechanism how this C l comes because of q it comes through delta alpha. So, it should be very straightforward for us and let us find out the expression for C l q. Please understand C l q could be because of C l q tail then because of C l q wing and also fuselage and other components, but we are mostly convinced that C l q tail will be predominant. So, we will try to derive expression for C l q tail. So, we know that delta alpha tail because of q is q l t by u 1 which we have demonstrated here. right? So, what is the C l at the tail will be C l alpha tail into q l t by u 1. So, what is lift at the tail because of q due to q will be equal to half rho v square at tail s tail into C l tail which is C l alpha tail into q c by 2 u 1. If you want to find out C l based on free stream dynamic pressure, then this will be half rho v square tail into s tail C l alpha tail q l t by 2 u 1 divided by half rho v square s free stream that is all. And you know half rho v square tail by half rho v square free stream is nita. So, I can write C l tail because of q as C l alpha tail into nita this is nita then s t l t by s right s t l t by s then q by 2 u 1 okay. c l alpha t half rho v square by this is nita and then here will be l t by l t by c. No, there is no c. So, this will be l t. So, let me check again half rho v square tail by half rho v square free stream is nita, nita is here, C l alpha tail yes it is here, q l t by 2 u 1 is here, everything is here, s, s is also here, but s is nothing but s of the wing generally we use that. And if I want to find out C l q which is d C l by d q C by 2 u 1, best way to find out C l q is simply divide this by q c by 2 u 1 because the linear q l t by 2 u 1 divided by q c by 2 u 1. So, there this will only be 2 right. Please understand this will not be 2 this will be q l t by u 1 that is a mistake from my side c l alpha tail into q c by u 1. I repeat lift due to q with half rho v square tail s t c l alpha tail into alpha this alpha is nothing but q l t by u 1. Okay, so, there was a mistake here. So, you correct it. So, c l will be the c l is based on based on aircraft reference based on free stream dynamic pressure. So, I divide by half rho v square free stream into s. So, this to this is nita s t c l alpha tail q l t by u 1 and once I want to find out c l q. So, this 2 is not here. So, I divide it by this and then I get an expression which is very well known which I have done in my last course also you can refer to that. So, I will get a c l q expression as 2 c 
CL alpha tail into Nita tail V H that is all you see here if I do this these this get cancelled u 1 e 1 get cancelled this 2 goes up. So, 2 C L alpha tail Nita is Nita T is here S T L T by S this C bar makes it V H. So, V H is here. So, this is the expression for C L Q. Note that sign of C L Q is positive which is true because as it goes pitch up it pushes the air down. So, that lift is upward, but then the question is that C L Q will give a nose down moment which is negative. Now, how do I find that very simple I multiply this with tail moment arm. So, from here I write C M Q will be 2 C L alpha tail nita T V H into L T by C, but I will be wrong if I do not take care of the sign because I know because of Q there will be a force upward which will give me a nose down moment. So, I have to put minus sign, but as I told you this is the expression for a contribution by tail, but generally wing also will contribute, fuselage also will contribute. So, you can roughly as a design stage you can take C M Q as minus 2.2 C L alpha tail nita T V H L T by C. This is also very recommended value or expression at design stage please understand this. So, we know the expression of C L Q and C M Q we derive this expression just to convince you that although they look very nasty, but very simple to estimate. I know C L alpha tail, I know ratio of the dynamic pressure may be 0 0.9, 0 0.95, I know tail volume ratio. What is the problem? I can find out this derivative, right. As a designer, you always associate all these derivatives through numbers. Unless you develop that field, you are not ready for designing an aircraft. Typical value of CLQ you will find it will be between 10 to 80, 15, and CMQ also could be minus uh, 10 to minus 20, around these typical values for uh, CLQ and CMQ. Now, what we are left with the delta E derivative. Right. So, let us see that also, so that we are out of all these expressions and because our main aim is to go back to this equation and try to understand the short period equation of motions in terms of how to solve them, how to get useful informations. These are only we are creating input for solving those equations. Right. Again, we start with because longitudinal, we are talking about F A X, F A Z, and M A. I will go very straight D F A X by D delta E, I will write as D C X by D delta E into Q 1 S, which I can write as C X delta E into Q 1 S which is nothing but minus C D 1 Q 1 S because minus C D 1 uh, minus C D delta E evaluated at steady state the Q 1 S. What is the physical meaning of C D delta E? See whenever you deflect the elevator right, definitely there is going to be change in lift as well as drag and that is C D delta E is reflecting and that is why when you try to trim an aircraft at a most optimal altitude where mostly you will be flying you ensure that the elevator deflection is almost 0. That is you design your aircraft such a way that your C m versus C l graph look like this and this is your trim point for delta E equal to 0. So, that your this contribution to drag is 0. Similarly, if I want to find d f a z 
by d delta e this will be d c z by d delta e q 1 s it goes without saying 1 means steady state, because these has to be evaluated at steady state and I am sure you understand this is equal to c z delta e into q 1 s and this is no minus c l delta e into q 1 s, because c z and c l are opposite sign for small perturbations. And what is C L delta I? You know, if I deflect elevator, how much it will generate C L, right. So, these are not very difficult thing. Similarly, if I write d m by d delta E, this will be um, d C m by d delta E in the Q 1 S C bar. And this is very popular, very strong derivative C m delta e q 1 s. And what is C m delta e? You know, it is a elevator control power. Okay. And we have already derived those expression in last module. It is an elevator control power. And typical value is minus 0.7 to 1.5 per radian. So, that completes this derivation of all those derivatives, which will be required to solve longitudinal perturbed equations of motion. My strong advice would be, please spend some time with pen and pencil and you can also refer my last course, where also I have talked about this, but in this course the objective is different. I may be going a little faster, because this is not primary objective. Primary objective is to uh, build a dynamic stability criteria, so that we can design a stability augmentation system. Right? So, those who are interested, please follow that module also, and derive this expression yourself once, and you need to do it once only, that is all. After that, you remember the formula, load down at some worksheet, whenever you can refer it, calculate it and done with it. Okay.